a physician, I really did not think too much about whether the nutritional supplements my patients were taking actually dissolved or not. All of the drugs I prescribed, whether or not they were brand name or generic, were required to follow what is called USP or US Pharmacopeia standards. This means that the quality and dissolution of the tablet was regulated. This is not true for the nutritional supplement industry. Again, it is basically an unregulated industry. When I was doing research for my book, What Your Doctor Doesn't Know About Nutritional Medicine, which was published by Thomas Nelson in 2002, I found a study done at the University of Maryland. Here, nine prescription prenatal vitamins were studied. Researchers did not look at what was in the tablet. They simply looked at whether the tablet dissolved or not. To my amazement, only three of the nine prescription prenatal vitamins dissolved. What good does it do to have the right nutrients in the right amounts if your tablet doesn't even dissolve? You are just wasting your money. It is imperative that any supplements you choose to take must follow USP guidelines. This is the only way you can be assured that your tablets or your capsules are dissolving. When you consider taking prenatal vitamins, remember this study. I did obstetrics for the first 21 years of my practice. I actually used to recommend a brand of supplements called Materna. This prenatal vitamin was produced by a pharmaceutical company called Letterly. The year after I quit doing obstetrics, I read an article that appeared on the front page of the USA Today newspaper that shared a lawsuit regarding Materna vitamins. The plaintiff or patient in this case was claiming that her child was born with what we call a neural tube defect because the Materna vitamins had been shown not to dissolve. It is a well known in the medical literature that any woman who is considering getting pregnant should be taking vitamins, especially 400 to 1000 micrograms of folic acid, in order to decrease their risk of their baby being born with what we call a neural tube defect like spina bifida or hydrocephalus. In this case, this lady was taking Materna before getting pregnant and during her pregnancy and still had a baby born with a neural tube defect. Again, what good does it do to take vitamins if they do not even dissolve? Therefore, it is critical that you take nutritional supplements that follow USP guidelines.